So Sean, a lot of juniors want to know, what should their mindset be going into the first tee? You know, I, th I think that that's kind of an impossible question to answer because I've seen guys go to the first tee in a bad mood. I've seen them go to the first tee in a good mood. And what I've seen is sometimes guys go to the tee in a good mindset, they don't play well, and guys go to the tee in a bad mindset and they play well. So I don't think you at home, you guys, you don't want to think about it as good or bad because then that means you're either doing something right or wrong. What you need to do is start to be aware of, of what that is. So kids will say to me all the time, you know, when I get on the first tee, I'm nervous. How do I not get nervous on the first tee? Well, I would challenge you to even question if nerves are a bad thing. I mean, you obviously love the game and you're there to compete and you've been training and working hard and, and you feel the nerves. You know, I think that's just more excitement. I think what you need to do is become aware of what happens when you feel the nerves. So, you know, books like Carolyn Dweck's Growth Mindset, all those types of books are great, but that growth mindset's like an overall philosophy that you have in your life. It's not like you go to the first tee and have a different mindset. I mean, the fact of the matter is you're fortunate enough to grow up playing golf and you're on the first tee of a AJGA golf tournament. I mean, the mindset should be just gratitude and then you get on the first tee and trust your training. So what do I need to do on the first tee? I need to know what club it is. I need to know where the wind is. I need to know where the trouble is. I need to execute my pre-shot routine. Some have one, some don't. I need to execute it, accept it, and, and move on. So I think the only mindset is just process and process and process. And over the next four and a half hours, doing that over and over and over until you run out of holes. So. Are you thinking right? Are you thinking wrong? If you're not thinking about what club it is, where the wind is, and those ideas, and then get on the tee with a simple kind of swing thought, whether that's rhythm or tempo or something with the club face, um, and execute it, let it go, accept it, and move on.